Hello YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Unpacking the Diecast Insanity. I have another box here of random cars. I haven't really looked in it at all besides just opening it up and peeking in it. And I can see I have a couple supers there for some reason. So let's go ahead and get into this box and see what I got in here. We'll all be surprised. I got some big time muscle. 71 Chevy Camaro. Big time muscle is big time not to scale. Even though it says 164th scale right up there. They most definitely are not. They're very large. But the detail on them is crazy. The rubber tires and just the decals and trim and interior and they put speakers in them and they're just nuts so at one time I did collect them and we got a 67 Chevy Camaro I do have quite a few of these open too so And we got a Optimus Prime, which I do have one of these loose. Very awesome truck. Now that truck is probably pretty close to 164th. St. Jada, I don't know who makes this. See robot on chassis. Must have a picture of the... Alright. There you go. We got a 2006 Chevy Camaro concept. Black and red. Big fat meats on it. Which is odd for them. They usually have low profile tires. The big time muscle. Oh, and we got a crosshairs. Another transformer. Got a sixty nine Chevy Camaro. Nice looking light bar. Got an M two. Idlebrock, 66 Shelby GT350. How about that? I don't think it's a chase or anything. It don't look like a chase or anything. It looks like I'm going to have to crack it open is what it looks like. Definitely stick that in the crack open pile. And we got one that I actually went after on eBay, looking for it. They can be kind of hard to find. It's a 2004 Ski-Doo MXZ X Formula XPS. Yep. I just said all that. But it's a snowmobile. I was disappointed when I got it. It's nowhere near 164th. It might even be big for a Jada. It looks quite large though. So this is a Johnny Lightning Classic Gold. If it's an 04, I'm assuming this probably came out around 04. Alright. Yep, 2004. How about that? So yeah, I've probably, probably been 4 or 5 years since I found out they did a a snowmobile and I thought it was cool and look as a real rubber track it looks like maybe we'll have cracked this open we'll see about that 
don't really have a spot for it in the collection, seeing how it's way out of scale. Got a 1958 Chevy Impala in the MSD. No idea why I would have this. It's not a casting I collect from M2. And I don't collect their advertisement ones like the MSD or... Unless it's uh, Idlebrock. I'll collect the Idlebrock. Or Moon Eyes or a, a livery that I collect. But not the MSD. I don't collect that. But you know what? I already have it. Might as well crack it open. Put it in the crack open pile. Now this is a casting I do collect. And it is not a chase. Limited to 2,400 pieces. This is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. In gold. Kinda. Like, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's like a gold. With flames. I don't know why that ain't cracked open. My 57s are all loose. And we got a Johnny Lightning. Chevy Impala SS. Limited edition. One of 2,000. Only 2,000 of them Impalas made. I think the Ravel is a little bit more to scale than this. It's a Johnny Lightning, so I think it's a little underscaled, unfortunately. But man. Nice looking Impala. If I don't have one of them loose, it'd be worth cracking. And it is Dark Cherry Metallic. Looks black. Probably I crack it open to see its true colors. Next we got a 1970 Chevelle. Chevy Chevelle Z-Mac. On a minty mint card. Now this is a casting I'd have completed from Hot Wheels. The first and only casting I've ever completed every release. Besides, there's a multi-pack release that has a wheel variation on it that I do not have. But I have every single paint variation. There's a couple that are one that is really hard to get. The Toys R Us. But 1970 Chevy Chevelle, my absolute favorite casting from Hot Wheels ever. I have a carded set and a loose set of that completed. The carded set, my unfortunately, my uh, the hardest one to get, the Toys R Us card is bent, has a crease in it. So I do not have the Toys R Us on a mint card. But Then we have one of my favorite super treasure hunts ever. The 1970 Plymouth Superbird. You can see the Treasure Hunt logo. Rubber tires. This is Hot Wheels. 2014. Seven years ago. One hell of a super to find. I did not find it though. That was a probably an eBay purchase or something. Then we got one that I need to crack open for the Burgundy Car Collection. We have a 1969 Camaro. If I have a pretty large Super Treasure Hunt collection carded, uh, I've never been able to crack them open. When I first started collecting, before I started collecting green lights or anything, uh, I started collecting Hot Wheels originally, and then it led to collecting Super Treasure Hunts. So I have a pretty large Super Treasure Hunt collection from before I ever bought a Green Machine or an Ultra Red. <clears throat> so they're all a few years old. Plus I continue to buy some even after I did 
uh, start collecting green light and auto rolled. I still bought super treasure hunts and threw in there. So it's a pretty big Tupperware uh, storage container that's full of supers. I'll have to uh, uh, dig it out. So if you guys uh, like checking out old supers, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave comments. Tell me you want to see that video with all my carded supers. Uh, there's quite a few of them. So I, I can't even remember what supers are in there. So this is a really awesome one from 2013. A year before. And then this is a double. Pretty sure I have one of these loose already. I don't see it in my M2 collection over there. Nice. Huh. Maybe I don't. Well, I actually like that one. I like the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Awesome color. Has Eidelbrock on the front fender, so I collect Eidelbrock. The Flowmaster on the back. Pretty cool M2 release. I really like these releases. They were cheaper when they came out in Walmart. And they don't have no opening features. So you don't have none of the flaws that you get with opening features. Oh, now we got some awesome Johnny Lightnings. This is a 93 GMC Typhoon in a flat satin black. Now that's an awesome, awesome. I forgot I had this. That ah, definitely needs cracked open. Some of these were real hit or miss. Some had really nice rims and tires on them. Like this has rubber tires. Oh, that might be plastic. You got the lip on them like they're plastic. They're two-piece plastic. Some had horrible rims and tires from this uh, carded blister release of Johnny Lightning. These were sold in stores pretty cheap. Uh, 2001 through 2012. So what year is this? It's a copyright. Huh. I can't find the year. If anybody knows what year these were sold in the stores, comment down below. Because I don't see it. But we got another one from the Tommy Air Johnny Lightning. And this is a really cool Papa John's. I almost think you could get these at Papa John's. I think they had two releases. This car, I think they had another one. So really awesome how they put the Papa John's sign on the roof. Kind of expensive car to be delivering pizzas in. Uh, I could imagine the gas be quite, quite expensive. I just happened to have the other variation of the Papa John's. Maybe this wasn't in Papa John's. Pizza Sauce Heaven. Is this a citation or something? Yep, Chevy Citation, 1991 Chevy Citation. So really cool releases of uh, Johnny Lightning. Probably should open up that uh, the Camaro. The next one, some of the Johnny Lightnings were hard for me to open up because uh, 1986 Pontiac Fireberg TA. It's a nice casting, heavy, metal on metal, rubber tires. But they only made 1,256 of them. That's not very many of that. 
That's not very many at all. 1,256. And these Johnny Lightnings aren't that old either. So round two, when they first started producing die casts, they were producing in really, really limited numbers. 2017. So four years ago, and they only made 1,200 of them. So, of course, I have the color variation of it. 1,256. Man, that's crazy low numbers. Auto World had really, really low numbers, too. Probably right before this time. 2017, they might have been up to... Oh, they started producing like 25 and 4,500. Probably around 2017, 18. And then their numbers just kept going up from there. Now they're up to almost 20,000, 17,000 to release. But that's because of the trucks. So. Awesome. Makes it hard to open something. Knowing that they only made 1,200 of them. 1,200. It's crazy. Then this truck. 1993 Ford F-150. Hobby exclusive. Limited to 1,800. That's it. Just 1,800 of this truck. That's all you get. Go ahead and look one of these up on eBay. These are not cheap. If you can find one on eBay. It's a 2017 series hobby exclusive. Special edition. These aren't easy to find. Makes it really hard for me to crack it open. And then you have this one. New Ford 2017. Limited to 1,088. You'd be lucky to find one of these on eBay. This is extremely... Extremely hard to find. And crazy how much they go for. I bought these new when they came out. This one I think I got from Lamar Fashion. I think this is a Toys R Us exclusive. Even though it doesn't say it anywhere. For some reason I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive. Or maybe we haven't got to it yet. Maybe it's uh, down there somewhere. Because this one's limited to 1800 And this is a 2017 Hobby Exclusive. It's a color variation to the first one. So that's three really awesome trucks. Alright, let's see what else we got. Transformers. Bumblebee. Yeah, I don't have this one loose, so this is going to have to get cracked open. And we got a 69 Chevy Camaro. I think you can see a trend here with these uh, big time muscles. For some reason, I was drawn to all these damn Camaros, but look at that freaking green paint on there. Man. I might have to crack that one open, too. Look at that thing. Even though I don't collect big-time muscles 164th, my ass. I wish they would have made them 164th, because look at that Chevy Camaro there. Man, that thing just looks so freaking mean. Damn. Love the orange and the flat black on that. Ah, it looks like one mean ass Camaro. Oh, 
and then we got another M2. 1979 Dodge Charger RT 440 six pack. I would have bought this because of the all satin black paint. That thing just looks killer, all murdered out. Definitely going to put that on the crack open pile. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. These videos usually lead to more videos because uh, half of these are going to get cracked open after this video. So they'll get sorted out to find their home in my collection. And that's definitely for the burgundy car collection. So that GMC Yukon Denali will be cracked open. And the last of the big time muscle. We got a 57 Chevy Suburban. Pretty cool casting from... Uh, from Dub City Jada Toys here. This one's actually a lot smaller than their other ones. So it's probably the closest to 164th. Although it's still large for 164th. Even though it's smaller than their cars. So that just tells you their cars are at least 157th. This might be 160th. Their cars might be 154th. This might be 157th, but they definitely are not 164th. What's this? We got stickers here or something? Or it just shows the different sides of the vehicle. I don't know. And that was a Toys R Us exclusive because I do not have another one in here. So that limited to 1,088 or whatever. That is a Toys R Us one that's extremely hard to get. And there's a color variation of it, I'm pretty sure. And we got a 1996 Chevy Impala SS. Now that's one mean looking murdered out car love the rims and tires on it and it's black not satin black or anything it's just black limited to 1800 hobby exclusive only 1800 of them and of course a color variation to that one which is dark green gray. And I like them five spoke a lot better. And the gray interior. Pretty nice looking Chevy Impala. My camera's getting a horrible glare off all this plastic. See how lucky you guys are? I ripped most of this stuff out of the plastic so you don't have to see it with the glare. Limited to 1800 I mean, that's just crazy to me to think that they made only 1800 of them. And here we got a Johnny Lightning. New for 2017. Special edition. Only at Toys R Us. Light Green Polly. 1973 Chevy Caprice Estate limited to 768 cars. That is it. That's all you collectors get. 768 of this. And it has a big old hitch on it. Man, that thing's huge. Really hook up to something and haul it around. Now, uh, Auto Rolled had a, wait a minute, was it? Yeah, Auto Rolled had a Toys R Us release. Uh, two different cars, a Grand Prix and uh, what was the other one? They were Toys R Us exclusives and they're limited to like 800 and some pieces, like 
eight eight hundred and fifty eight pieces or eight hundred and fifty four pieces. So round two did it with Johnny Lightning and Toys or and Auto Rolled with Toys R Us. And the next one is a night. Oh, it was a Cadillac. Was the other Toys R Us? But we got the 1990 Ford Mustang GT, limited to 1,256. That's it. That's all you collectors get, 1,256 of them in blue. Ultra Blue Poly. 2017. Is that what year uh, round two brought back Johnny Lightning? Comment down below if round two brought Johnny Lightning back in 2017. They may have. That might be why they are the way they are. Limited. This one's limited to 2,500, so it's the highest number. And this is a Chevy Citation and a Demolition Derby. And we got a really awesome Jeep Wrangler. 1981 Jeep Wrangler. Look at that thing. I always wanted to open these two, but right after I got them, the value of them went way up, which made it really hard to open. Limited to 1800 That's crazy that they are that limited. And the last one is in white. 1981 Jeep Wrangler. This one looks like the one from the movie The Goonies. Was theirs white? I can't remember. Comment down below what color the Jeep was in the Goonies movie. Or if it was even a Jeep. It might not have been. For some reason I think it was an old Jeep Wrangler. These are the playing Manus Airs. So this is before round two. Let's see what year it is. Two thousand fifteen. Oh, and it says round two. What the heck? So in two thousand fifteen, round two was round with Johnny Lightning. Why does it say playing Manus up there? Thought they quit doing that in the early two thousands. I'm so confused. Any Johnny Lightning experts out there? Make comments down below. I appreciate it and love reading them. Doesn't even say how limited that one is. That one's a Miho exclusive. Says right there how limited it is. 2017. 2016. Alright. I mean. It must be from two different errors it seems like. I don't know. They're definitely in two different years. Well, that's all I got to show you today. Uh, if you stayed through to the end, thanks. Make sure you uh, leave comments and like and subscribe and have a good one.